Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. So if you want to see how I made this beautiful dress, you can see how beautiful it is. You can see the neckline, the seat area, everything is just good to go. So if you want to see how I made this beautiful dress, keep watching. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. So if you're just joining us, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button to join the family. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you. So for today's tutorial, this is the fabric that I'll be using. This is the fabric that I'll be using. I bought this fabric for a buyer that cost 2000 Buyer cost 2000 And what I bought in the market was um, five yards. But definitely, I'm not going to be using all of them. I'm going to use the remaining for something else. So that's that. As you can see, I've gone ahead to rule my horizontal line. But I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. And this is my starting point. That's my shoulder line. Shoulder line. Then from my shoulder to my upper bust is eight. The shoulder to upper bust is 8. Sometimes I use 8, sometimes I use 8.5. It's still okay, the difference is not much. Then from my shoulder to my bust point is 9.5. Then from my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5. And then from my shoulder to my half length, that's half cut, it's 17. But I added half inch for seam allowance. That's 17.5. Something that they have. Because I'm going to use half inch to join it to the down part. So that's that. And also here, I took, if you've been watching my video, you should know how i was able to get this i took the standard three inch which is from here to here then um okay but before that what i did was my shoulder it's 15, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so 7.5 plus um 0 0.5 that's for the um seam allowance that i will use to join to the sleeve is eight so i marked eight here so after marking eight here i marked down i marked the three inch standard here then i came down here by one to get my shoulder slope one so so from where i came down and by one i connected it to where i marked three here so this is my shoulder slope i hope you understand so so what i'm going to do next is just to take um uh, my um bust pan is 7.5 7.5 divided by 2 is 3.75 and 3.75 plus 0 0.5 is 4.25 so that's what i'm going to be marking here 4.25 4.25 i'm marking it on the shoulder and on the bust line and um the half length line so that was what I'm marking so after marking it i'm going to use my ruler to connect it so after connecting what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um 0 0.5 from each side which is going to give me a total of one inch so i'm going to take um 0 0.75 yeah I'm, I'm going to first of all i'm going to come down by you can decide to come down by one or um half inch i'm going to use half inch for this tutorial this is just to avoid you having a sharp edge towards your um, nipple side. So that's why I came down by half. So I'm going to take 0 0.75 here and 0 0.75 here. Take note that you can actually only take one one. That's a total of two or a total of two and that. It depends on what you want. I don't want my bustier to be prominent. I don't want it to be prominent. So um, this is okay for me. This is okay for me. And remember that I'm depending on how um, prominent you want your bustier to be. You can go ahead and, you know, Take whatever you want to take. So for mine, I took 0 0.75 on both sides. So which is a total of 1.5. That's both of them, 1.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. To get my armhole curve, I'm going to take the midpoint. What I have here is seven. Seven. Remember that, like I told you earlier, my um my upper bust is eight. What I mean by that eight is, you know, I started here. It's going to give me. But remember that I came down by one, so that was why I'm having seven here. You know, I came back like that for, from shoulder slope from here to here. It's seven. So that's it. So the midpoint of seven is three point five. 3.5 so i'm going to come in by 0 0.5 you decide to use um 0 0.75 or 0 0.5 i'm going to use 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 and then my boss is that six that six divided by four is going to give me nine so i'm going to mark nine here and i'm going to add 0 0.25 for each allowance so which will give me a total of um 9.25 So I'll go ahead and connect. So the next 
places to um get where the curve is going to be from here. I'll just take the midpoint. What I have here is eight, so the midpoint is four. Four. We are going to come down by zero point five, which is four point five. Yeah, four point five. Then it's four point five. I'm going to take half inch on both sides. So that the it's going to sit properly when you wear the clothes, it's going to fit properly. Okay. So I took 0 0.5 from both sides. I'm going to connect it. And I'll come up by um let's say half. my truck is not sharp but i hope you understand what i'm trying to do so just to be on the safer side you know i took 0 0.5 on both sides so i'm going to add it here i'm going to add let's say one you can decide to add one or 1.5 just to be on the safer side it's best you have excess than for you to have a shortage so what i'm going to add is 1.5 if it's excess i'll just go ahead and cut it out so that's and I'm going to connect this back to here. So that is that. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add my seam allowance. Remember that my boss is that says divide by four is nine plus the ease allowance I added 0 0.5, which is a total of 9.25. That was what I marked here, if you can remember. So what I'm going to do is to add, you know, I'll cut off this one here. So I'm going to add it here. Uh, I'm going to add the one here plus the seam allowance. I'm going to take a total of two inch seam allowance. So all in all, I'm going to add three inches here. The three inches are one inch, this one that I cut out. I'm going to add it back here and also um two inch seam allowance. So a total of three. So it's just at the tip here. At the tip here. Then my waist, my waist is um 30 uh, 32, 32 divided by four is going to give me um 16. Sorry, 32 divided by four is going to give me eight. Eight. Eight plus this is eight. 8 plus this 1.5 that will be cut off. I'm going to add it back here. 1.5 plus the 2 inch seam allowance. 2 inch. So I'll go ahead and connect this to this. So that's that. Then for the neck. Which neck should I do? Well, let me just do a normal simple neck. I'm going to come down by four for the neck. I'll come down by four. Then that's the depth. Then for the width, I'm going to use let me use six. You know I took three here from here to here is three, so I'll just go ahead and mark three here. Three here. And go ahead and connect. So the next thing is just to add my um, half inch. That's for the what I used to join the two shoulders. Just half inch here. Half inch here. And then go ahead and cut. So that's that for thus the front panel. So as you can see, this is for the back upper panel. I went ahead to rule my line, but let me go ahead and explain. This is my shoulder line. So from my shoulder line to my upper bust is um eight. From my shoulder to my half cut, it's 17. But I marked 17 and a half because I'm going to use half inch to join this to the down part. And then um what I have there is just for the zip allowance. I used two. You can decide to use 1.5 or two, anyone you want to. So this is basically for the zip allowance. Then from my shoulder, 
my shoulder it's um 15 divided by 2 it's 7.5 then 7.5 plus half inch seam allowance that i will use to drag it to the sleeve is 8 so take note that i'm not starting here because this is zip allowance i'm starting here so from here to here is 8 i marked 8 so after marking 8 i came down by 1 to get my shoulder slope so this is the one i marked one here so i also marked the standard tree here three so i connected this to this this to this to get my shoulder slope after that i now drew a straight line just that's for the armhole so that's that. so what i'm going to do next is to take the that um my bust pan is 7.5 7.5 divided by 2 is going to give me 3.75 plus 0.5 inch is going to give me 4.25 so this is 4.25 4.25 4.25 so i'm going to do is just to connect so after that um my boss is that sister six divided by two it's uh, my boss is that sister six divided by four it's nine plus 0 0.25 seam allowance is 9.25 so you see i marked 9.25 9.25 so I'll just go ahead and connect. For the back armhole, you don't need to come in. You just connect it that way. Just connect it. And like I said earlier, I used to say that for the back armhole, you don't need to come in. Just connect. Just connect. So what I'm going to do is to take note of the midpoint. What I have here is um seven. Seven divided by two is three point five. So I'll just come down. That I'll add zero point five, which will give me four. So this is it for. So what I'll just do just to simply add it here and connect it to here. Just connect it. So next is to take my add my seam allowance. Seam allowance is two. That was what I marked here. Then my um waist. My waist is thirty. So the two divided by four is going to give me eight. You know that when starting, I do okay. Let me use this side here. Eight. I'm starting here because this is zip allowance. This is eight. Eight plus two inch seam allowance, which is this. So I go ahead and connect this to this. So that's that. For the neck, I'll do what I did for the front neckline. That's what I'm going to use for the back neckline. Uh, what I have here is four, four, and then I'm going to mark um six. You know, I marked three here, so I also go ahead and mark three two here. Yeah. And then connect. Then add your half inch that I used to join the shoulder. Half inch. Half inch. That's that. Then I'll go ahead and cut. So this is the middle part of the dress. This is the middle part of the dress. Now let me quickly explain. Um, from my natural waist to my nail is 23. Not really exactly on my nail. You can make it one inch above your nail. So that you'll be able to walk freely. One inch or two inch above your nail. So that you'll be able to walk free, freely. So mine is 23, 23. And I went ahead and add half inch. As you can see, it's up and down. This is what I'm going to use half inch to attach um the this to the upper part that's to our half cut and then i'll use half inch to attach it to the down part of the dress so that's it so that was what i have here total of 24 inches so that's that so from my from my waist from my waist to my hip it's 10. you know i'm not actually using my skirt waist i'm using my natural waist and you're not, I'm a, I, your, your natural waist is um, one inch above your navel. So you can, you can make it one inch above your navel or two inch above your navel. It depends on what suits you. So this is where I'm starting from. Take note that this is just a half inch to add them. To add this to, like I explained earlier, half inch is just for the same allowance. Half inch is just for the same allowance. So from my natural waist to my hip line is 10. From my natural waist to my knee, that's one inch above my knee. 
it's um 23 inches so that is that and then to take my dad i'm using my boss pan my boss pan is 7.5 7.5 divided by 2 is going to give me 3.75 3 percent 75 plus 0 0.5 is going to give me 4.25 so that was what i marked here 4.25 that's this middle line this middle line 4.25 i also marked 4.25 i now use my ruler to connect it i now use my ruler to connect here to here so after connecting it i now took half inch on both sides that's for the dance half inch on both sides then i came up two inch above the hip line then connected it you can see it's connected it so that's that so i now went ahead to take my um other measurement my waist is um 32 32 divided by 4 is 8 it, but take note that um, we are going to take in one inch for the um, dart allowance. This is the dart allowance, dart allowance. So we are going to take in one. So eight plus one is nine. This is nine. I mark nine here. So plus two inch seam allowance. You see it. Then my hip, my hip is 40. 40 divided by um, four is going to give us 10. 10. Take note that the dart is not going to extend towards the hip. So it's going to stop here. So we just have 10. Then 10 plus two inch seam allowance is two. Then for the down part, I'm going to minus whatever I have on my hip line, I'm going to minus 1. So what, what I have here is 10. That's the first line is 10. So I went ahead to mark 9. 9. Then 2 inch seam allowance. You see it. So that is that. So the next thing is that I'll go ahead and cut. So that's that. After that, just try and notch the dart area. In that area, then your hip line just a little bit. So for you to know, so that is that. You can see the way it is. You can see the way it is. So for the back panel, what I did is just to place the front panel. You can see it. I used my office paint to hold it. Let me take it out so that you see it. So I used my the front panel. You see the front panel. This is the back panel. This is for the zip allowance. The zip allowance. So I place the front panel. Make sure you place it properly, and you can go ahead and use your office pin to hold it for it to be firm before you cut. So I place it, then just cut it out. Take note that this is the zip allowance. This front panel is starting here. So I just cut it out. You can see it. You can see it. I just cut it out. You can see the shape. You can also take note of your of your hip line. Take note of your hip line, like this is the hip line. You can see this is the hip line. So that's it. Um, so what I did is just you know this is zip allowance. This is zip allowance. So um and a zip allowance I'm going to use I'm going to use one inch for the zip allowance. I'm going to manage it. I'm going to use one inch for the zip allowance. So this is one inch for the zip allowance here. Then here, that's where I have the hip line. I'm marking one and a half. You can see it is one and a half here. One and a half here. Why I'm adding one and a half is the half inch here is for the boots. That's for the boots to sit properly. So that's why I have one inch here, one, one and a half here. But when taking my zip, I'm going to use one inch. So this half inch will be will be for you know for the for the boot to sit properly. So after that, I came down on my hip line by one inch. I came down on my hip line by one inch. So this is it. Then I wanted to have that pencil look at the back. Pencil look at the back. So what I did is to just use. You can decide to use one inch we can decide to use half inch but for mine i just used one a half inch so i marked half inch this is the half inch so the way i'm going to connect it is that this half inch i'm going to con i connected it you can see it to this place to this place so now mark it straight you see after sewing it will be you know somehow core but take note that when taking in my zip allowance what i'm going to take is one inch one inch so you see it so i'm going to cut out here you know so after sewing here we have that pencil look so that's that. Then for this, I'll just draw it like this. Then cut. I hope you understand. Let me go over it again. You understand how I was able to cut out here? This is for the zip allowance. So my zip allowance is one inch. I took one inch and marked it. On the hip line, you remember that this is our hip line. What I did was to um, mark one and a half inch. So the half inch I added extra is for the boots, for the boots to sit properly. So I also came down, which is here. So I now connected it that from here to here. Then I came down by one inch. That's from, from the hip line, which is here. I marked it here. Then on the down part, that's on my and where and where it's going to stop on my heel. I marked half inch, half inch here, connected it like this. So that it's going to have that pencil look. So that is just that. And also for the that. Let me 
let us in a straight line and get our back that so for the that what I'm, what I'm going to do is to just mark 4.25 like i explained during the front panel 4.25 4.25 Use my ruler to connect it. So after connecting it, I marked half inch on both sides. Half inch on both sides. Then for the back panel, I'm going to come up by one. I'm going to come up by one. Then I'll go ahead and connect it. So this for the dots. Just like I did for that of the front one. So the only difference is that I came up by one here. Let's go ahead and connect it. So that's that. So what I'll do is just go ahead and cut. I've already cut out this. So it does the back panel I'm going to cut out. Well, let me use my office pin to hold it so that it's going to be in place. So let me quickly explain what I'm going to do for the down part. For the down part, what I'm going to do is, um, after, you know, using my lining to turn it and to join it, you know, something like this. I know that this is zip allowance. You know, you just, after joining them, after joining them, hmm, then you measure the circumference, the circumference. So if you measure the circumference, then you cut out a long piece of fabric, depending on how full you want it to be. You can decide to make it, whatever you measure, you can decide to make it times two. Or times three, depending on how full you want it to be. So that's that. Then you go ahead and pleat it and pleat it. Then under, I'm going to use a hard net for it to have that um that um fuller look. You know that round ball fuller look. So I'm going to pleat this too under. So that's what I'm just basically going to do. 